Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR has now announced the final answer key as well as they have also announced or declared the final scorecard for CSIR June or July 2024. So I'm here, I'm going to discuss about the answer key first of all and then we will talk about how you can see your scorecard. Also there is a new thing here that is percentile and that's what I'm going to talk about here, okay. So make sure you watch this video carefully till the end. So let's first of all talk about this. This is the website, I will give you link to come up to this page. Both the links, all the important links will be there in the description, okay. So don't worry about that. So you come up over here and here you can see that uh, you will see that there are two new things which are here. One is final answer key of CSI or GCNET um, as on uh, 11th 9 2024. So if you click on this, we will be able to download this answer key. Now this is for chemical sciences you can see and as of what was displayed just after the exam and uh, compared to that I couldn't find any changes which has been made in the answer key so the answer key which was displayed after the exam after the exam and the final answer key do not have much any changes as per what i have my initial uh, you know initial inspection has told me if you guys have found any changes in the answer key please do let me know in the comment section below i'll be very happy to discuss about that but yeah uh, there is nothing marked that star or anything so it seems like everything same okay so you can check out the answer key and i will suggest you to download this answer key because this might help you later on okay if you want to do previous years questions or something you will be having answer key at least with you coming back to the same website now here you see that there is declaration of scorecard for the joint csir ugc net if you click on this link now this is a pdf which just says that they are going to declare the answer key for the exam and here interest interesting thing is uh, they have mentioned that how many students have registered for the exam and how many students appeared for the exam. If we talk about chemical sciences, so chemistry exam was held just in one shift that was on 27th of July 2024 and uh, total 50,009 students registered out of which 36,315 students they appeared for the exam. So you are competing against 36,315 students that's the number which we have. Other things are mentioned on over here which I don't think are much important. Let's get back to the same page. So here is the link where you can actually check your scorecard now. So if you click on this particular link, you will be able to uh, reach out to this particular page where you can now log in using your application number, your date of birth and this and, and you can enter this pin code or security code and that's how you will be able to download your scorecard. I'm going to directly uh, show you that how you are going to see uh, so let me just fill some details and I am going to show you and I am going to explain the scorecard to you. Now this is how your uh, scorecard is going to look like it is going to contain all your information over here regarding for what exam you have applied for your basic information about you your father's name mother's name and all the basic things and uh, your roll number will be here you will be having a, a QR code over here that will have all your information. Apart from all that, the important thing is over here, the marks section, okay. So you have paper in three parts, you know that you have part A, part B and part C. Part A is of 20 marks, part, uh, sorry, part A is of 30 marks, part B is of uh, 70 marks and part C is of 100 marks. Part A, you have 15 questions which you have to do out of 20, part B, you have to do 35 questions out of 40 and part C, you have to do 25 questions out of 60. So these are the maximum marks and this is the marks which you have obtained over here in this section, okay. So how much marks you have obtained and uh, how much was the maximum marks and then you have your total marks out of 200, okay. So your total marks has, is over here. A new section which has been included this year in the answer key is percentile, okay. Earlier this used to be in life sciences students but this time for chemical sciences also you can see there that there is a percentile score. Now this percentile score is going to tell you that how much how much marks you have done up, uh, like based upon a particular uh, like uh, in a particular section how much better you have scored compared to other students okay so that is something i'm going to explain you don't worry about that so then you will have your percentile over here in in words and then your total marks in words okay now what is this percentile i think they have explained it below so yeah here they have explained so it says that the percentile score of a candidate has been calculated as follows what is that it says that 100 multiplied by number of candidates appeared in the session. In the session means in that subject 
with raw score equal to or less than the candidate okay and divided by total number of candidates appeared in the session so basically it is calculating the percentage of students who have scored marks equal to or less than you okay so if your percentile is higher in a particular section or in a particular score if your percentile is higher that means that how many students how many percentage of students have scored marks equal to you or less than you that means how much better you are among others okay so let's say in part a your percentile is 90 so that means you are better than 90 percent students okay so that's what it means it means that you are better than 90 percent students which are there okay same goes for other sections as well so it is going to tell you that like it is going to give you a clear idea that in which section you are better than others okay apart from overall score of course overall score is going to help you out overall percentile if let's say your overall percentile is let's say 90 or 95 that means you have scored better than 95 percent of students and the topper is gonna have 100 percent of percentile so that's how it is going to be but uh, apart from total score the section wise is going to be and that's very interesting and that's a very good score which CSIR has actually given to you it is going to tell you that how better you are in a particular section it is going to tell you how better you have performed compared to others in part A compared to others in part B compared to others in part C so this is what your scorecard is and it's a very detailed scorecard I would request you recommend you to download it keep it with you it doesn't matter how bad your score is okay this scorecard should be with you to analyze it if you are planning to prepare further for the next exam it this scorecard should be with you so that you can analyze your score and you can work upon section wise you can work upon your preparation and i'm going to make a very detailed video upon it so stay tuned for that and that's it from my side for this particular video i hope you guys will be able to download it and you will uh, be able to get your uh, scorecard all the best for your scores all the best for the result the final result will be announced very soon so stay tuned for that also i'll be making a video uh, related to that so cutoff is gonna come very soon so stay tuned for that and that's it from my side take care bye bye